So how did an intern's project end up in OpenAI's GPT architecture? Let me tell you the story of attention sinks. Maybe your next bit of code will be adopted by OpenAI. So back in 23, Guanshan was an intern at Meta, and he was tasked with figuring out how to make a language model handle really long conversations. At the time, chatbots struggled with anything over a few thousand tokens. Now, the obvious fix was, why don't you use a sliding attention window? That way you can keep a cache of the most recent information, drop the old ones. Efficient on paper, but in practice, it didn't work. As soon as the first few tokens left the cache, the performance dropped. And that was weird because those first few tokens seem trivial. Like it's the start of your sequence. It's words like uh and the. Like why would removing them cause such a failure? And so here's where they dug deeper. They spent time visualizing the model's attention patterns. And there they found that the first few tokens were soaking up a lot of the attention weights. In SoftMask, everything but sum exactly to one. They acted as pressure valves, putting all the leftover attention into those first few so the distribution could stay stable. Once we remued them, the, the balance collapsed. So the fix was simple. Just keep those first four tokens forever. And suddenly the model could handle really long context and it got adapted quickly. Hugging Face, NVIDIA and others and even OpenAI later added the sync scaler to their architecture. And the lesson here is by taking the time to do careful investigation, that led to new insight, a new innovation that helped reshape AI architecture.